All right, YouTube was good. Leak auto repair. I always like to do a video before I go home, so that way I got something to do for when I get home. So I'm gonna talk louder. So I was able to disassemble. You already saw part one by now. I was able to disassemble the uh, take the head off um, just to see what's going on. Get be more concrete what my uh, conclusion of what's going on with this block before I start getting busy and shit. So took the head off as you can see. And well, you don't even see, just give me one second. But I'm gonna move the camera around. But I did find a bent valve, so let's go ahead and see this joint right now. So, as you can see, that's the head on the floor. And got the block right there, uh, the rock arm assembly. Got that off. Oil pump in the pan, chain, head gasket. Got the cams over there on the side. So, cool. Got everything out. So, I took, uh, got the spring out. And, uh, or this one valve right here, I don't know if you can see it, but let me get closer. This valve is cool. This is the one I think that opened up during VTEC, but I guess this one don't never really open up all the way as it should. Cause this is the engine with the shitty ass fucking VTEC. I don't know why they consider it VTEC. But if you pay attention right here, if I could rotate this around, if you see the face of the valve, uh, it is bent up. I wanna try to get like uh, a better view for you. So that way you can see, see it right there. Yup. Let me rotate it some more. Keep rotating around. But yeah, because it was bent, that caused it to contact uh, the valve, the other side of the valve, which was the exhaust side and the intake valve, contacting each other, fumbling my words and shit. So yeah, I just wanted to pull everything off just to be for sure. Uh, the block rotates uh, freely, nothing binding up any uh, crankshaft assembly. If I could find me a wrench one second and my tool cart is pretty fucking messy. I don't know if I got something out already, but if you give me one second, I can find something. All right, so I got ratchet wrench. And don't even matter which way I go, cause I don't even have any, uh, I don't have the cylinder head on, so it's nothing to fucking mess up. So get that on real quick and go ahead and rotate that see i got a nice little flow going on i gotta turn this by hand too it's cool nothing's binding up but everything is cool the uh piston as you can see all that carbon build up shit this is a fucking high mileage engine most likely it's according to the fucking cams got uh score marks on it and shit but it's all fucking high mileage so from this point I did call a machine shop to see if I can get the block in there so that way they can assess the bitch and see what's fucking needed. I uh, can't believe they put uh, cooling separators in these. I thought that was just in the fucking Civics and shit, but whatever. Um, yeah, I did a, a short block on a fucking Civic one time and then installed the cooling separator. But whatever, I guess they put them in um, these as well. But try to get it uh, to the machine shop, uh, you know, get it there to, uh, well, I call just to get a quote on what's going on and shit. They, these motherfuckers can't even get won't be able to get to my shit because they fucking backed up maybe i gotta find another shop but uh for the for the most part i might even just go ahead and start ordering uh a couple uh some tools like a plastic gauge uh give me like a four inch micrometer or just a micrometer set and uh get the uh the tool set up to do the uh measure the bore and all of that good shit and i might just go ahead and measure it myself and make sure everything if it's within range if it needs to get bored whatever probably let that be up to me but if these motherfuckers take long i might go that option if not then uh i'll just find a machine shop i'll probably just keep on trying to find a machine shop so that way i can have everything done everything legit so that way when i receive it back only thing i need to fuck with myself is the fucking cylinder head and the cylinder head i'm gonna build myself if i keep running to machine shops that can't get to me i will be measuring this shit myself and figuring out all the options I mean, it ain't hard to, if you good with measuring tools to, you know how to, you know when something's out of round or uh, it's too fucked up, you can't fucking use this shit. Um, if you don't know your measurement shit, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, but this is right up my fucking alleyway, like I said. I mean, I love fucking with engines and shit, but when we building it up, we like to do things properly and you're spending a lot of money, so that's why you're taking it to a machine shop. Rather than doing it yourself, motherfuckers putting the wrong size pistons in and uh, wondering why they losing fucking compressions and shit. I'm just saying. So, I'm Lee Go To Repair, I'm signing out this thing. And uh, make sure y'all follow up on uh, part three. 
and uh part three i don't know what that's gonna be is but like i said every week i'm gonna be doing something to this shit uh we will be getting a fucking full video of this inside out from fucking start to fucking finish so let's keep on uh i, I don't know what the fuck i was gonna say uh, stay dirty i'm not eric the car guy uh whatever uh i, I holla at y'all motherfuckers